I just got something in the mail. Uh, there you go. It's a collapsible pocket drone. It's basically a clone of a DJI Mavic. So, uh, there, this one says JYO19. But uh, the one I actually bought was an E58 or something. So I guess they're all the same thing, just repackaged. Nice box, decent box. If you put good quality in your packaging, it's usually a pretty good pro product, so. Um, yeah, it looks pretty nice. Uh, there's the manual. Uh, yeah, it's a little tiny drone. The, uh, if you pay close attention to the, uh, the camera on it, it's, uh, it doesn't have a motor on it, so I guess you can't control it from the from the controller. So you got to point it where you want it to go before you fly it. Uh, but if you got to pay real close attention to the uh, dimensions and the descriptions and stuff when you buy them, because this thing is tiny. I mean, I was expecting it to be this small, but I mean, it cost around seventy bucks. So, and it's a clone of a DJI, so I'm hoping since it was about a tenth of the price, it's got at least tenth of the, a tenth of the quality. So, uh, the propellers are kind of weird. They don't fix into place, but I guess once they start spinning, they kind of lock into place. But it looks good. It's really lightweight. Let's see if it powers on. Uh, SD card slot. No SD card that I can see. Maybe there's one in here. It's kind of lame that it didn't come with an SD card. Uh, these must be for the props. Yeah, no SD card. The uh, controller here. Uh, off on. Okay. Controller's kind of lame, but, uh, from what I understand, you don't actually need the controller. You can fly it with your phone. Uh, you need a screwdriver to open it. Oh, you know what? What is this? There we go. That's how you hold your phone. Yeah, it says Emotion Drone. That's what you what I searched for. That's where the phone goes. So I don't know what this thing is. It, there's nothing electrical going to it, so that's not an antenna. I don't know what these things, I guess these things are just for looks. It's kind of lame. But that, that will hold my phone. Okay, that's, that's a better idea. That will hold my phone. I don't know what these things are though. And then it's got uh, two trigger buttons on each side. Uh, left and right, I'm assuming these are the trim buttons up and down on both sides. Uh, I don't know where the... I guess it's self-stabilizing because it doesn't have a throttle control like the other ones I've done. Uh, by the way, if you saw the last drone video I did, that white one I had, I didn't fly it a whole lot in the review video, but I did recently, I, I gave it to one of my nephews recently, and it actually flies pretty well. So if you go back and look for that one, I'll probably post a link on the at the end of this or something to it. But that was actually a pretty decently flying drone. The camera was garbage and everything, but the drone actually flew pretty well. Uh, this is pretty cool. The battery pack is built into a tray that slides in and out. That's that's pretty cool. Let's see where the charger is. Uh, doesn't actually have a charger meant for this. It's only got a couple of half props. It's got four backup props, but it's only a half a prop. It's not a full one. So that's kind of weird. It's really only two backup props. But one of the good things about this drone is I'll, after I bought it, I was looking around online and you can get all these replacement parts and everything pretty easily. So, let's see, is there a place to plug in the... How do you charge the battery? Battery goes in here. It doesn't have a charger. There it is. Okay. I was looking for something to charge it right there, but no, it's got a, a USB port on the side of the battery. Right there. It's got a USB port on the side right there. So that is how you charge it. So that's pretty cool. Let me go ahead and get this charged up. 
and uh, yeah, I'll get it charged up, and we'll try to fly it. And I'll see about finding the app for it too, and get that downloaded. I was hoping there'd be like a QR scanner or something down. Oh yeah, there we go. It does have the uh, QR scanners right there. And the QR codes to. For domestic use and for foreign use, but since this is from China, am I going to use the domestic one or the foreign one? I don't know. But anyway, it, you can control it on your phone. It's supposed to have a live feed to your phone, from what I understand. But uh, let me dig out an SD card and get this charged up and we'll try it out. Okay, so real quick, uh, I just plugged in the battery in the other room and it's Basically, the, the tray that the battery sits in is the charger for it. So it's got the indication light and everything built into the, the battery itself. So it's like a built-in charger. And uh, you can buy replacement batteries and multiple backup batteries too. So that's the cool thing about this drone. All right. Got that on. Uh, let's see get my phone out okay it's cameras working on it whoa well wow, that was nice the uh, might have to take the case off my phone to get it to fit in here yeah, okay, this is not holding my phone at all. Okay. Okay. Uh, a couple of cool things. I got the camera controls on the phone. It's also got a, a VR mode, which it doesn't want to do right now. Let's see. Okay. I had that working a little while ago. What's going on here? Let's try it on the sidewalk. Don't want to fly into the tree though. Oh, there we go. Nope, nope, come back. It's flying forward, I don't like that. It does kind of self-stabilize, but it, uh, wants to fly out fly forward uh, I don't know if that's the wind it is putting out a lot of force on the ground I don't want it to fly forward whoa now it's coming back for me There we go. It's pretty stable right there. Okay, it's kind of moving a little bit on its own there, but it's uh, it's pretty stable. Uh, the camera, for whatever reason, the phone's not connected to it for some reason. But it does fly pretty easily. It spins around. So it's really stable. This is a pretty impressive little drone considering the it kind of just wants to fly to that direction that's the wind blowing it that's what it wants to do uh, okay so let's try the land button and it lands itself that's pretty cool takes off on its own uh, and it lands itself I don't know what's going on with that I think my batteries are low but this thing's uh, pretty cool 
I can't get the phone app to work on it right now, but uh, actually, I think I just, oh, the wind's blowing it. That's what's going on. The wind is a problem with it, but uh, something's beeping here for some reason. The wind keeps changing directions on me, so it keeps... Okay, I'm gonna just turn that off. All right, so I think I finally got it connected here. It's got a VR mode, which is pretty cool. I do have a VR headset I could put it into. Uh, doesn't want to fly with the controllers. I'm not sure how to get it to do that. I don't know what that does. Oh, there we go. Oh, oops. Ah, full of water. Oops. But anyway, I actually had it flying there for a second. I hope that water didn't ruin it. <laughs> okay, I just started up. Try to fly it on my phone. Let's go ahead and start the camera. Oh, it just turned off. Never mind. Take a picture. Okay, yeah, that's pretty cool actually. Although it's not quite as easy to control. I'm trying to get it to come back over here. Nope, that's the wrong way. Whew. Okay, stop. Alright, well, I think that might have been a good test on the camera anyway definitely easier to control with the controller. Ugh. Go see what the... Uh, go put it in some rice to dry it out and put it in the... Uh, put the SD card in the computer and see what happened. Alright, I swapped out the SD cards and uh, this one actually worked. But there's this weird bug where, you know, there's no sound on it, which is pretty cool because all the other ones, you just all you hear is the propellers. So I'd rather have no sound than that. This one plays for about that long and then just shuts down. There's some kind of a error, like it's a corrupted file. But I was actually able to uh, transfer. Uh, the, the, uh, the drone has a Wi-Fi signal on it that connects to your phone. So I was actually able to download it to my phone from the drone so I've got that full video it's about a minute long but this one for whatever reason it's only it says it's 50 seconds here but it plays for like 10 or 15 seconds and then stops it's corrupted but on my phone I've got the full version so uh, uh, I mean the video quality is kind of it's it's nothing to be desired I mean it's just it's horrible. It's a 720p supposedly, but it's not even that good. I mean, my I have my GoPro set to 720, and it still looks way better than that. This is like, it's that's the problem with all these cheap drones, is the cameras on them are really low quality. So this one, I mean, it's it works, and I think once you get up high enough, it it you don't even really notice the definition issues. But uh, I'll show the. Uh, two videos side by side right here. Uh, here's the uh, this one that plays for like 10 seconds and then stops. And yeah, it just does that. And then let's see, I'll just go ahead and play the uh, the full length video right here. Uh, let's see. Drone. There we go. Photos. It has that same photo on there. Uh, that, it just took a photo of the marble slab that I had it sitting on out there. Which, it actually picks up the, uh, the reflections and the shadows and stuff on it in pretty nice detail. You can see there. I'll show the, uh, yeah. Let's see. 
Here's the video. Let's see what it looks like. It actually looks a little bit better downloaded from my phone on there. And it does play the full... No, no, that plays for about 10 seconds and stops too. That is weird. It plays the full video on my phone, but on the computer it only plays for 10 seconds and stops. I don't know what's up with that. Um, maybe if once I transfer them to my computer here, let me go ahead and do that. Maybe once I transfer it, it'll... It's only 27 megabytes. That is not a very big file. Let's see if that plays the full minute. It's got this weird bug. On my phone, I can watch the full minute-long video. But on my computer, I can't. I don't know what's going on with that. Maybe once I get it into the editing program, it'll... Correct. Now this is the one taken from my phone. It's the exact same size. It's probably going to have the exact same error. But for whatever reason, on my phone, I can watch the full video. But on the computer, it only goes for 10 seconds and then stops. Let's see. Huh. I don't know what that's about. Alright, though, so there you go. Uh... I'm going to go and test it out a little bit more. I've got the batteries charging back up. I didn't charge them very long, so they died on me. But uh, uh, it flies really well. I'm impressed with that. It does fly very well. So uh, if you if you just want to fly a drone, it's it's great. It's perfect. Uh, it's it's real lightweight, so the wind blows it around a lot. But it stables it uh, stabilizes itself. It takes off on its own. It lands on its own. Uh, Big issues that I've, I have is, uh, just like every other cheap drone out there, when you use the factory um, controller with it, it, uh, it, there's no way to differentiate the, the camera button. Like, I clicked the camera button on the controller, and it didn't do anything. Um, nothing happened. It didn't record anything. It didn't take any pictures. So, I don't, that was garbage. And even at that, it's the same button to do both photo and video. That's annoying. Like, what, like, how do you know if you're doing video or photo? That's with every cheap drone. But this one does let you access everything through your phone. And it does actually have separate buttons on your phone through the app that uh, controls one for the photos, one for the camera. So, or one for video. And, uh... That's pretty cool. You can download the videos straight from the SD card to your phone through the, the drone itself wirelessly. Uh, I transferred everything here. There's some kind of weird glitch. I don't know what's going on, but it only played the video for like 10 seconds. So I'm going to test that out some more and see if maybe it was just the file that got corrupted. Because there's, like when you stop recording, it says cancel plan or something. So it, there's, it might not be saving the video properly. But I'm going to give it a couple more test shots, and I'll run all that after this part. But overall, it was a, it's probably the best drone I've bought so far. Uh, I know with all the money I've spent on these cheap drones, I probably could have just put all that together and bought a nice DJI or something. But uh, there's a difference between buying a cheap drone and being able to save up to get an expensive one. Uh, I don't have all that much money at once, so I can afford the cheap stuff. I just can't afford the, the expensive one. And... Uh, but yeah, this, uh, this drone, it flies well. The uh, video, the, the quality of the camera is complete garbage. But uh, I might use it for, we'll, we'll see if it looks good when I take it out to, uh, to the river or the lakes or something. Um, if I ever get it back, if I don't lose it out there. Uh, one issue is a lot of drones, like the expensive ones, the DJI, when you hit the land button, it comes back to the spot where it took off. Uh, this one, when you hit the land button, it drops straight down. So if you're above water and you hit the land button by mistake, you need to quickly correct that and get it back up because it's going to land in the water. Uh, but yeah, it does take off on its own. It stabilizes itself. It lands itself. And that's uh, that's something I have not been able to do with any other drones is land. It's usually just a crash and a couple bounces. 
So uh, this is, uh, the, as far as the flying goes, this is the best drone I've had. I'm impressed with the way it flies. It's easy to fly. But the camera is garbage. Well, another thing is, uh, uh, all the other drones I've done, the cameras have audio for some reason which is pointless because all you can hear is the blade spinning and it's loud and obnoxious. Uh, this one does not have audio, so it's, you, it's easy to just put some music over it or something. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to get enough footage to do that right now. Well, right here you can see uh, it's the same footage I was showing earlier that ran for 10 seconds and then stopped. But my theory was actually correct, that when you, when I put it into the editor, it actually plays all the way through. But, uh, there, there's some kind of issues with the rendering here. There's, like, weird light splotches popping up, like, right here in the top corner that in the yard there. That is weird. Uh, there's some pixelation around the edges. But, uh, it, it does work. Once I get the, the video itself into the editor here, it, it loads. But, uh. I wasn't able to get the full thing to play, but I'm going to head back out right now and try to get some more footage. Uh, one last thing after the footage you just saw there. Uh, it is easier to fly with the factory controller, but you can't control a camera with that apparently. and uh, uh, So... That's, but the phone does that. Unfortunately, you can't use your phone and the controller at the same time. It's one or the other. You can't do both. So that really actually completely negates the whole purpose of the, the phone rack on the bottom of the controller. It's like, why would you put your phone there if you can't connect your phone and the controller at the same time? Why do you need that? But uh, you can either fly it with your phone or fly it with the controller. Both ways are pretty easy, but it is easier to fly with the controller than with your phone. But, um, if you're doing it for photography reasons, which, if, if you're doing that, you're an idiot. It's a low quality camera. But, um, if you're doing it for photography reasons, you can use your phone and control the camera better. Uh, you can't control the angle or anything. You can set the angle before you take off, but you can't control it once it's in the air. Uh, but you can control photo and video. It's very clear and easy to figure out. But flying the con with the uh, controller, which is a lot more fun and a lot more stable, uh, or easier to control anyway, uh, you can't really control a camera. So, uh, yeah, so, I mean, it's... If you want something to practice with uh, before getting a, a Mavic, then this, yeah, this might... I don't know how... It, I've never actually flown a Mavic. But, uh, yeah, I don't know how they compare, but this was uh, really easy to fly, and it might prepare you for something like that, so, thanks for watching. Uh, it's probably too dark for you to see me, but, uh, yeah, uh, do not fly these at night. I just had to walk and knock on a stranger's door because the wind carried it to somebody's backyard, and luckily they were very nice, but, uh, that's not something I ever want to do again, so, uh, Fly these at a park during the day.